like to talk a little bit today about the valve cover gasket and the wiring harness on the 7.3 liter. This came off of a 2001 that presented with a bad misfire to barely stay running. Turned out it was running on half the engine and this valve cover gasket ended up being the problem. Had a bunch of coats for high to low side open all on the same bank so this was immediately the first suspect. These gaskets have a connector in them and a bunch of pins in there. There's nine pins. The two outermost on each end go to the glow plugs. The two smaller ones next to the glow plug pins go to each injector. Everything is in order by cylinder. So the big pin on this end goes to the glow plug here, the second pin in the glow plug, and the same thing on the other end, end pin, glow plug, next pin, glow plug, the two smaller pins, injector, injector, and the two smaller pins, injector, injector. The center pin is common, it's a positive supply to the injectors. With the engine running, that's about 110 volts DC, so you kind of want to avoid getting bit by that one because it'll hurt. Anyhow, putting a meter on this in the truck, which this test can be done in the truck too, you just get the, get the connector out, you press down on the tab and slide the connector out of it. Put a multimeter on it. These little alligator clips for the test leads come in real handy. Almost any hobby store or electronic shop should have them. Now if we go to the common, on the injector connector. All of them will have one color wire that's the same. In this case it's black. Every one of these injector connectors has a black wire on it, so that's common. And we have infinite resistance there. That's the black one. Infinite resistance there. Black wire. Infinite resistance. Black wire. Infinite resistance. So these are all open. If we go to one of the, there we go, get it on another injector. It's on this one for the, for the negative to the injector. Now we have continuity there, but it's a really high reading. That should be very close to zero. So if we pop this connector out of the inside, see the melt damage from the glow plugs heating up. What I noticed when I checked this from the inside, the center one's common, if I go from the connector itself to each injector, I had continuity. So the heat damage in this connector has probably spread these little metal tabs open enough so it's not making contact inside or the pin in here has lost continuity so we'll check that too connect that up now we've got continuity through the gasket so this connector is the problem probably could have gotten away with just changing this under valve cover harness. With the heat damage, it was smarter to do both. Because there's a good chance these pins in here are damaged. Yeah, there's some, there's some melting in there. So this had to be changed. It was done. These two are sold separately from the Ford dealer. And I think the total cost between the two of them was about $140. You can get them other places cheaper. The, uh, the Dormans, they're not bad, though lately there have been some reports of the insulation on the wires. After being on there for several years, the insulation is cracking and falling off, but I, I haven't confirmed that. I haven't seen it, but all the other reports say they're pretty good, and the major difference is there is no connector inside on the Dorman gaskets. Everything is hardwired, so it eliminates one point of failure. That's one of the good points about it. Hopefully this explains some questions anyone might have about how this works. If you found the video useful, please like or subscribe. Thank you.